All right, I'm Lewis with Kingston Technology. Uh, we have here a couple of ThinkPad W700s. The system on the left, we have our new V plus uh, 128 gig uh, that will be releasing very soon. And the system on the right, right here, we've got the 5400 RPM hard drive that comes stock with this ThinkPad. We have two gigs of memory installed in both, um, just because that's what we got default when we bought these systems. And we have Windows 7 um, 64-bit professional running. And so we're going to see um, how these boot up, and let's take a look. Okay, the system on the uh, right seems to be a little quicker through BIOS, we'll see. Might get to the Windows splash screen first, uh, we'll take a look at that. Yeah, like I said, you can see there. So you can see yeah, I got to the starting Windows a little bit, and that's where the kind of the hard drive has kicked in, and the SSD on the left, so SSD system should catch up. And we're just kind of boot to the password prompt at that point. That's the way we have these systems set up. These come right out of our testing labs at Kingston. And I'll enter the passwords at that point, and then we'll see it boot uh, to the rest of it. We'll get into the OS. You can see they're about the same. It was a little quicker, a little bit. All right. So I'll enter password at this point. Excuse me. Okay, I've entered the password on both of these, and I'm going to try to hit enter as close as I can to the same on each one, so we'll do that. All right, seems like I did pretty good. All right, so you're going to see this finish booting into Windows 7, and then um, it, what we've loaded basically is just a batch file that's go open up 50 files spanning five or six different programs, and you'll see that uh, the SSDs are able to uh, kind of accomplish that workload much quicker. It's going to be opening up spreadsheets, Word docs, PowerPoints, uh, some pictures, a couple of drawings, things like that. So while we're waiting, we'll see how this goes. We should see the, the Windows uh, system on the left, the SSD system, get there a little faster, and it did. And now the batch files kicked in. So let's take a look and see what happens. There'll be a halfway point where it says it's loaded 25 of those, and here comes 25 more. And we should be there. So we're there on the left, and you can see the system on the right. It's kind of still working through that. We have a little pause programmed in, and then it's going to finish up. And most of the time, um, the system on the SSD system finishes up the whole thing before this one's halfway. So you can see we're there, and now we just got to halfway. And a little pause again programmed in, and then it'll start up again. So let's see. Okay, all right, not bad. So you see, you get an idea of what SSDs can do for you uh, when it comes to boot time and opening apps. Um, I'm gonna, um, we're gonna pause just for a second. I'm gonna close these applications down and then we're gonna do a file copy test and show you some more of that speed. All right, we're gonna do our file copy test now. You can see SSD system on the left, like we said before, hard drive on the right. And what we're gonna do is basically, um, I've got some files here that we can copy, one gig folders, up to 36 gig folders. We're just gonna copy the 10 gig folder and kind of see the difference there. So I'm basically gonna just drag it from one SSD to the other. This is a C drive, and in this case, this has been set up as the E. So we have two SSDs loaded. And two hard drives over here, the same kind of thing. Gonna drag this um, 10 gig folder over from the C, copy it over to the E, or in this case, F. It's been given and we'll see how long that takes so I'm gonna put this down a little bit and kind of try to time this at the same time so I'm gonna have to kind of do it in two pieces here so. All right, so let's take a look at this, and we can see both are kind of starting. If we take a look, what's nice about 7 is that you get an idea of the speed. So let's take a look at that. You see the sustained speed. It's right now at 190 megabytes per second, which is moving at a pretty good clip. And we see hard drive to hard drive here at about 50. It's going to probably settle at about 50 megabytes per second. We'll see the SSD side on the left probably be right around that, the 180 sustained. So you can see there, it's moving um, pretty quick. Uh, we're able to do this file copy in just a little over a minute, where the system on the right is probably going to take um, probably somewhere between three and four minutes total time. So you can get an idea of the difference, or you can see the SSD is really going. So this is great. You know, If you're talking about how this is going to help your system, obviously the read times are great for faster boot times and things like that. But if you need to move data around within your system, you know, maybe you're moving, uh, if you're doing a backup, uh, if you're doing any kind of archiving, you're moving your music from one folder to another, I think this is where SSDs really shine. So you can see the SSD one's going to be done in just a second, so a little over a minute. Um, 
And we're not even halfway on the uh, hard drive side. So you can see there we've got uh, two minutes remaining on that. So um, yeah, we're going to have to wait a little bit. We'll see how that goes. All right, so we're back. And uh, we're still watching this finish. It's still going. Uh, about 20 seconds remaining. And you can see right around 50 to in between 50 and 60 megabytes per second, which for a hard drive, notebook drive isn't bad. You know, it's it's pretty typical. But I think it's if you're talking about you know maybe what keeps your notebook from uh, achieving its full potential, it's definitely storage in the hard drive, and so it results in your system waiting on data. So it's finished. So you can see there. So again, about uh, 65 seconds, a little over a minute for this, and about I think 345, 350 on this side. And so you're looking at a 3x delta in terms of of copy times and you know like I said before I think especially in cases like this you've got a high-powered notebook right um, I think SSDs really kind of unlock the potential of your yes. CPU um, you know you, you, it, what, what it results in less waiting on data your applications are going to launch faster systems going to boot quicker quicker out of sleep mode quicker out of hibernation you know these are all good things so thanks for that I uh, hope you like that and uh, you've been watching Hexus TV